All right, people, this is going to be an experiment. I have recently started a blog at robertoldude.wordpress.com. So what I'm going to do is read it out on a video for those of you that can't really read it on the screen, in case there are any of you like that. So here we go. I learned something new today. Just a few minutes ago, I learned that one thing billionaires have in common is the ability to have opposing viewpoints to be able to see what is right about each side of a story, so to speak. I'm watching Ty Lopez's live talk and his cousin Maya offered that tidbit before Ty arrived. How was work? Pretty freaking awesome. That's how it was today. I knew it would be because it was an intense struggle to get out of bed this morning. This is how it works for me. There was plenty of opportunity for humor, which I enjoy taking part of. I have noticed many more people are accepting of have a pleasant day than have an awesome day. So I have curtailed my use of awesome in order to spread a bit more positive outlook around. Oh no, my secret is out. The final chapter in my workday was an encounter with a fellow employee in the parking lot about vaping. She smokes and is looking for a substitute that is healthier. I believe I sold her on it. And I happen to have a card of the shop I discovered yesterday on me to give to her. This led to a good vibe for the drive home. If I had been quick enough to catch the bus this morning, I would have missed this opportunity to provide assistance to someone looking for help. Everything happens for a reason. It is up to you whether it has a positive or negative effect on your day. Just a little truth in a world of misinformation for you. Believe it. Hmm. Did I just get serious for a second? Possibly. I like to believe that the most serious people can also possess the greatest sense of humor. I suppose that can apply to some people classified as depressed as well. Still serious. How can I move away from this? Hmm. Well, as I write this, I am sitting in my underwear. Oh. TMI? Since I'm at home with just my wife and cat, why should I have more than that on? Would you like me to ask you more questions? Probably not, I would imagine. What would your opinion be on this matter? On to a different topic. One of the many people I watch on YouTube that I looked up to is Kurt Bell. I really enjoy his philosophical videos and even his goofy ones too. Check him out, www.youtube.com slash user slash softy papa. I actually hold in high regard many people on YouTube, young and old. If you would like to know who these people are, check out the Three Old Dude Show at www.youtube.com slash user slash three old dudes. Every single one of our guests, every single one, have been invited to the show because we desire their friendship, and friendship is what we have received in abundance. Yes, I admit this is yet another shameless plug. The three of us, Simon, the founder of the show, Dean, enthusiastic supporter, and myself, also an enthusiastic supporter. Consider the show our weekly therapy. It is an opportunity for unlimited weekly fun at our own expense. There is also an after show for those that do not wish to be part of the broadcast to hang out with us. A good show and after show always leave me super energized. I like to believe that that is a sign that we are attracting the right people to the show. I didn't intend to make today's blog an advertisement for the show, but this is what flowed out and I intend to publish a blog every day so I need to form a habit. I have learned recently that is act that that it actually requires 66 days to develop a habit. I hope that I can write something interesting every day, perhaps even some fiction, just as long as I publish something every day. This is also added bonus information how to form a habit, in case you didn't notice. Okay, here's something random. I still haven't watched Fast 7 yet, nor have I watched Mad Max. I anticipate dealing with this soon. I now have my wife here to attend movies with me. I usually wouldn't bother if I was alone. One last thing. I believe selfless acts of kindness and generosity to people that care about you will help lead you to greater happiness. Random acts of kindness to strangers is a bonus. A very good one at that. See you tomorrow. Robert.